The House is ramping up against Planned Parenthood. Congress is in recess, but the House Energy and Commerce Committee has sent several letters to key personnel in Planned Parenthood and the biomedical companies they do business with, including STEM Express and Novagenics Laboratories. This is in response to the investigative work of the Center for Medical Progress and the videos they've released that expose the criminal activity going on at Planned Parenthood. The committee wants information about the sale of human body parts and cadavers, as well as interviews with doctors and researchers that appear in the videos and any other affiliate personnel relevant to the investigation. The president of Planned Parenthood, Cecile Richards, was given until the end of this week to comply. In the letters to the private companies, the committee is requesting information about procedures for consent of donation, collection of fetal tissue, and practices for quality control. They're also asking for copies of any contracts with government agencies. Had studies in which the company, or in the case of the investigator, has a specific need um, for a certain portion of the products of conception, mm -hmm. and we bake that into our contract and our protocol that we follow this, so we deviate from our standard in, court in order to do that. That was a portion of one of the videos in which a doctor is explaining how the procedure can be altered to fit tissue procurement needs. If nothing else, the videos have put the evil practice of abortion front and center for the time being. There has been a recent shift towards pro-life, especially among millennials. This congressional probe is being conducted in response to an overwhelming call from the American people to investigate and defund Planned Parenthood, something the Senate failed to do recently. But it's hard to get all jazzed about this House committee looking into Planned Parenthood when we've seen so many other investigations go nowhere, like we saw with probes into Benghazi, the VA, the IRS, Fast and Furious, and the many other scandals plaguing this administration. Let's hope the House takes this one all the way. But it's unlikely to change without our desperately needed change in leadership first. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the RayWarnerShow.com.